What is going on everybody? Rogers Base here and the day has finally arrived for Attack on Titan Shingeki no Kyojin. I got Zeke Sama with me here to do it. Ready? Ah! The final chapters part two. This is the actual final last episode of Attack on Titan. I know the final season of Attack on Titan has been split up four different ways, but we are actually finally here. Feels good to be back. Of course, I got my Survey Corps jacket. I've got my monkey puppet for Zeke, and I am extremely excited to see how they are going to animate the final chapters of the series. As many of you know, if you follow any of my other Attack on Titan content here on YouTube, you already know I actually didn't mind the ending. I didn't think it was perfect, but I was definitely in the camp that was more positive than negative, and so now going into the final episode of the anime I am really excited to see how they end up changing the manga ending for the anime only viewers I've heard rumblings no pun intended and rumors that a couple uh, pieces of dialogue are going to get changed I think that is probably going to benefit the ending if the anime does end up changing those things but we're going to see so without any further ado let's start my live reaction of the final episode ever of Attack on Titan Shingeki no Kyojin in three Two, one, and go! All right, we're here. Look out in the sky. What is that? Here we go. <laughs> man, oh man, I'm just happy we're finally able to watch it. Crunchyroll was down. We were trying to refresh, trying to log in on Funimation, trying to get it to work on Hulu. We are here. Final battle. The squad versus Aaron. Oh, man. Seeing this stuff actually animated, having read this all those years ago, and thinking back to how I felt at the time, like, words cannot express it. Here we go! The damn beast titan, here he is! <laughs> Saves us the trouble of finding him. Target that beast titan right now. I'm sorry, Zeke. <laughs> Let's stop the rumbling. Okay. I'm already liking the OST. You got him throwing his little Warhammer Titan beast balls. <laughs> Look at him go. You got this, Odiak Capone. Tachakai. Woo! Okay. Uh. 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 <laughs> Go on in, Levi. Whew, and there's John, too. I love this. Yo, watch out, Connie. <laughs> I still can't believe Reiner made it this far. Truly. <laughs> Here we go, holding him down, ripping him off of his umbilical cord. Let's go. Woohoo! Here comes Peak sliding on down. The Armored Titan and even the Cart Titan. That's ODM gear. Could it be? Paradise Island came to stop the rumbling? Of course, they're not all Team Aaron. Got Reiner's mom crying there. Oh. I have another question to ask you, Aaron. Once we drag you out of there, please tell me they changed some of that dialogue. In what way are you free? Attack on Titan, the final season, the final episode, Chapter 3, The Battle of Heaven and Earth. We made it. Okay. We're going to start with the Amir stuff then. I am also very curious how anime onlys are going to feel about the Amir revelation at the ending. Again, I won't say it out loud right now because I know there's some anime onlys who are watching this alongside me live. But, bro, <laughs> what a cool shot. <laughs> <sighs> Here 
As I feared, that isn't going to do anything. Zeke's using the same method as the Warhammer Titan to hide himself. We have to find one tiny body in this huge mass of bones. Come on, Armin. In one minute, I'm blasting away this area. So work with the Cart Titan to get clear. Of course, you're the Colossal Titan, man. You gotta bring it all back. Aaron knows this attack could be coming. I can't imagine it'll kill him. But if I blow these bones apart, at least we might find out where Aaron or Zeke is. Again, good call. And you're the head of the core right now, Armin. It's up to you. Haji's gone. Erwin's gone. Sasageo, but they're gone. I love that last little... <laughs> the last one standing being Mikasa as she flies off. And that's the only thing you hear. And it's like the dead silence, but you know they're on, they're on the top of the body and the rumbling's happening right now. I have to deal with Aaron. And you will. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this, too. That's right. That's right. That's... Oh, man, too. <laughs> Getting crammed in his mouth like that, not good. And the old Beast Titan, the old Okapi? Dude, I remember the days of the theories about that when I read this chapter for the first time. Oh, man. All the previous Titans. Oh, man. Shout out to the Okapi Titan. Hang in there on Yon Capone. Come on. Finn's breathing. Do you know Annie? We all know Annie. Come on. She's my daughter. Sir, do you hear me? Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I just, I love seeing all the classic Titans come back, dude. The other older Warhammers. The old female Titan. Everyone, dude. The old Attack Titan. Ugh. That's also so wild to see, like, John standing on top of Reiner, man. That we're actually here at this point where they're all working together. The Avengers have assembled. Mmm. And they ran out of Thunder Spears. What are you going to do? <laughs> With the slightest injury, he would have transformed. Which means that he was captured without a scratch. That's right. Armin would have already gone off. He was whisked off towards Eren's butt. With countless titans blocking our path. Again, how hype is that that all of them throughout history are there? Even in perfect condition, I wouldn't be able to leap through that. So keep cool. Mikasa, it's up to you. Don't charge off. We got one Ackerman half down. We can't lose the other one. And peak with the dynamite. I love the track they're using too. Dude, look at all these older Titans. Who knows if their minds are still there. The old jaw Titan that looks like a pig. The giant rock looking thing Titan. The old armored one. These past Titan soldiers were only created to fight. We can't afford to be so easygoing with this. I'm not even friends with Aaron. <laughs> Come on, Pete. She's like, I'll do it. That still is wild to me to think that of all the Titans that were important throughout the series, that the Mule Titan would be one of the last ones standing and would be so important. Like, look at this. She's moving right now. No matter how you look at it, this is the place to strike. Here you go, throw all the dynamite down. <laughs> Mikasa, come on! <coughs> oh no! Oh, oh. oh man. <coughs> oh. And the old Warhammer spear, or trident, I guess, it's not a spear. Oh. And thinking back to. Why they chose that Warhammer and why they're choosing this version of the jaw? Because it's Guyard and it ties back to the stuff with Marley. Again, Attack on Titan is brilliant. 
Because they could have thrown any other Titans to be the ones to take them down, but they specifically chose the Warhammer that was taken down by Aaron back in Marley to be the one that stabs through Peak, and they specifically chose Guyard to be the one to attack Reiner. It's too good. Like, I forgot. Oh, I love to They're bringing back the classic. Da 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 da. We can't sit back and do nothing. All units meet the enemy with cannon fire. Is that any reason for us to sit back and do nothing? You tell him! Even now, those brave individuals are fighting desperately on the enemy's mass massive backside. Just what is it do you think they're fighting for? <laughs> Woo! Bum, bum, bum! Oh, man, dude! Let's go! Oh, the layering with... Yo, oh, I love what they're doing here. The layering of all the season one music. Oh. Bum, ba, da, 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 da. Yo. I'm fanboying over here with the music choices, man. And which ones they're choosing to remix in this moment. Reload the Thunder Spears. Let's go, Mikasa. Let's go! I was naive. I'm gonna pass out here. You'll be fine, Armin, don't worry. You're just gonna suffocate me. Is that it, Aaron? Baka! This isn't Aaron. It's her. The founder, Amir. Dude, we got the deer version of the Beast Titan there, too? This resistance is founder Emir's will, which means Emir wants to slaughter humanity too. The founder Emir is invincible. There's nothing that I can do. So is this where it all ends? Come on now. Hmm. <laughs> Seeing Bertolt in there too and Bertolt crying. I still say the reason Bertolt cried in that moment was due to the fact that Armin's with Annie now. Bro, and you got Bertolt's version of the Colossal coming out of the back too. <laughs> oh, man. Again, the, the characters they chose to bring back here. And Reiner's mom having to watch this. I also love how the Colossal is forming off of like those little tendrils and the little lines that are coming off the back of the Warhammer and him just slamming down the armored's body like that, man. Ah. Oh. Like it almost reminds me as if the Colossal Titan, that version of the Colossal Titan represented everything that was going on in Bertolt's head. Well, you know, Bertolt obviously was the Colossal Titan, but at the end of the day, he was still a member of the Survey Corps. And so, like, where you see the Colossal drop down from the sky like that, great shot, by the way. When you see the Colossal drop down from the sky and emerge through those little, like, Warhammer lines on the back, it almost looks like he's wrapped up in the old ODM gear. And that he's, like, with the Security Corps outfit on, as if he's, like, flying through the buildings. It's like he's both. He's Bertolt and he's the Colossal. He hasn't forgotten who he was. And even being reformed in this version, oh, it's just so good. I could talk about it all day. For being armored, your Titan self sure gets smashed up a lot. He sure does. <laughs> oh, Reiner, 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 Reiner. Really of all the characters to make it to the end, dude. I never thought in a million years. Reading this week to week, wild. Also, this music track is going very, very hard. Like, what even is that? Is that a mandolin or something that's in there? Beautiful. 
I don't remember that. Whoa, what? The Snake Neck Titan? What the hell? Is that new? I don't remember this at all. There was a Snake Beast Titan in the past? Or was that maybe an old Jaw Titan? I don't know. I do not remember that. It is cool to see the Titan designs. Oh, man. He's fine. Don't worry. He's fine. He's fine, Mikasa. Come at me. I'm strong. <laughs> oh, dude. Of course, they shot two with the wings. The wings of freedom emerging behind Mikasa. And Falco arriving just in the nick of time, dude. So good. I'm surprised they breezed by that shot so fast because that was so iconic in the manga. Here he is, dude. Falco literally becoming Falco Lombardi, turning into a bird, flying around the sky. They're like, what? You didn't think Annie was going to leave you guys. She's like, look, I didn't think he'd really be able to fly either. And yet here we are. <laughs> when he actually did it, what choice did I have but to come help you guys? Exactly. <laughs> Falco. I'm glad that I did. Of course you are, because you're best girl. You're best girl, and I don't care what anyone says. You are best girl. No! No, no, my headphones. No, 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 no. Come on, don't do this right now. Power off. Please, no. Headphones. Don't do this right now. Come on now. Here we go. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I must have accidentally clicked a button or something. Come on, Annie. The Osmo Beto ship sank. It couldn't withstand Falco's Titan transformation. Even though we had no definitive proof, Kiyomi agreed to try it. <laughs> you see, Yelena wrapped up in the blanket as well, chilling in the back. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Peak just got stabbed by a trident and tried blowing up Aaron's neck. <laughs> And I love this too, asking where Armin is and wanting to help. Your childhood friends are always getting captured, aren't they? We'll get him back. Count on it. She said, I'm going to get my man no matter what. The Warhammer Titan is blocking her. One group is going to rescue Armin. We're going to need the Colossal's explosion. The other group goes after Aaron and attacks the nape of the neck. Just like we planned. Come on. Split into two teams. It's just like an old training exercise. We no longer have the luxury of worrying about Aaron because we never had it to begin with. Bars, man. Falco being able to fly was a miracle. Without that, we'd already be dead. And never having accomplished anything. Come on, John. Come on. I had a long list of shit to tell that idiot off about. <laughs> Yo! Dropping an F-bomb? Okay, Levi. I guess he figured, look, we're at the end. It is what it is. But look, Levi, he earned that. Levi earned that F-bomb after everything he's been through. <laughs> I like that it was just Cousseau. <laughs> but they made sure to translate it as that. It could have been translated a bunch of different ways. <laughs> we gotta kill Aaron. Mikasa, snap out of it. Come on! You concentrate on rescuing Armin. You don't have to think about anything else. She's being such a good friend in this moment, too. She sees Mikasa crying like that. You think about everything that they've been through, the way that they were fighting with each other back in the training days. And even still, she's able to empathize. She knows what she's going through. Dude. They're heading for the Attack Titan again. We can't let up. Even if it's just one or two cannons, it's better than nothing. Man, oh man, oh man. There might be Eldians, but you're all on the same side now. We only came to seek treatment for the injured. It's your final moments. You gotta come together. Come on. 
Don't try it. No good will come of fighting at this point. I don't remember that. I also really love how they're animating Falco. Oh, dude. I love that, too. With all the Archer Titans. Oh, man. I forgot about this. I remember Falco dive bombing, but still. John and Reiner, don't get killed. All right, Reiner's already back. He's good to go. Don't you dies, don't you, don't you dies, don't you guys go dying either. <laughs> Gonna draw the Warhammer Titan's attention, okay. Also, really cool version of that one right now, with the helmet. Ooh. CQC, let's go. <laughs> Chucking him off the back. It is, like I said, it's cool seeing this animated because when you're reading it, you're going through it so fast, you don't get the time to actually, like, focus on all the cool designs of the previous Warhammers. Great music track they're using here, too. Dude, the drop kick as well. Whew, watch out! Of course there'd be even more Titans thrown at us. And it's like the orchestrated version of Under the Tree that's playing. <laughs> You're fine, Peek. Don't worry about it. She's out <laughs> she, She's like, I wish I could have learned how to move omnidirectionally. She made it, though. Running her way down the spine. Oh, dude. Transforming already getting the head taken off. John, if you think I'm a titan for odd jobs and not cut out for combat, you're dead wrong. She's got the endurance. She can take it with the cart titan's endurance as long as I'm not taken out. I can keep going until I've won. This is why peak is peak, bro. Even if it takes hundreds of transformations, she's like, take out the head, I'm coming right back. Don't you worry about me. Get to the detonator. I always loved that, too, that that was one of the extra things about the Mule Titan. Because when you think about the Mule Titan, you're like, really, what could its special powers be? But the fact that it's literally like a workhorse, and it could just keep going time and time again. It doesn't matter how many times she gets taken down, she's able to be reborn. It's perfect. I remember how hyped that was reading that in the manga for the first time, too. Seeing Pete going off like that. And then you got Annie and Reiner afflicted on how Bertolt could be turned into a puppet. Go for the pig one or whatever it is. The Okapi, you mean? <laughs> what type of nine titan is it? Could have been a cart, could have been a beast, could have been a jaw. So what do I do with that? <laughs> There's also the titan that just ran. There he goes! Okapi the show! <laughs> I love to that the characters are like, what the hell is an Okapi? I remember learning about Okapi for the very first time when I went to Brookfield Zoo as a kid way back in the day. And now here I am, 2023, 33-year-old Roger, sitting down watching the final episode of Attack on Titan, and the Okapi is crucially important to the ending. Unbelievable, man. Also, I've barely mentioned it this entire reaction, but the animation is quite good for this final episode, which I guess kind of goes without saying for Attack on Titan. Like, of course, the animation's going to be good, but it really is excellent. Oh, thinking back to that final order of errands, too. If all we had to do was deliver the brats to the sea, 
Then tell me, did the lives you gave in sacrifice seeing Haji there too, did they exist to crush other, uh, under, each other's lives underfoot? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I can't speak. I'm like, oh, dude, Petra there too? This was supposed to be an ideal world. It wouldn't be worth the hearts they gave. I have no regrets about my decision not to choose you. Nor should you. It's what Erwin wanted, man. To entrust the future to someone with the same look in his eyes that you all had. Let's go. Let's go! And Mikasa on the back of the female Titan, man. <laughs> Never gets old. Go, Connie! Earn your keep as one of the main cast, Connie. Come on. You almost fell, fed Falco to your mom before. Well worth it. Dude, she looks terrifying in that form, too. Oh. Woo! Also, the play on when Annie was flinging the other dude around like this, and now she's actually swinging Mikasa towards him. Let's go, Mikasa. Stop running, Okapi. Great shot there, too, with the reflection coming off the broken sword. He's not even stopping. Oh, man. And the old armored. Again, what a cool design. Let's go! Let's go, Eddie. The hardening of the heel. To oh, whoo! <laughs> I forgot about that. Yo. See, some of these really hype moments, even though I read the manga, it's just cool seeing them because I don't remember them at all. It's been like two years since we read this chapter, man. Ah, seeing Connie and Mikasa on either shoulder of Annie, dude. <sighs> Meanwhile, back to Armin. I'm waiting for that scene with that conversation. You know what's happening. That's one of the things I am most interested in seeing in this final episode, is that final conversation between Armin and Aaron. I gotta see what lines they keep and what lines they cut. And you got him in the paths just trying to wake himself up. This is the second life we were given. The hope's pinned on us. All of that, and you haven't even begun to repay any of it. So what the hell are you doing lying here dead? Move! And again, a reminder that all of this is still happening at the same time that they're fighting. The rumbling is still going on. Millions are still being trampled. Pushed to literally the edge of the earth. Look at that, man. And that's all they can do. That's all the people can do is just pray at this point. You even got the poor little giraffes running all over the place. Walking over volcanoes, walking through the forests. Man, oh man. And some people just choosing to jump even. Because they, yeah, oh man, dude. Oh, and that shot of her holding up the baby too. Oh man. I love what they're doing here too, having that animated with the red and the rest of this in black and white. And it's like the red with the wrapping of the scarf, bro. Doing such a good job with the scene, man. And everyone's just trying to pass the baby around. Tatakai, Armin, come on.
If I were really dead, how could I think in a state where my brain is deprived of oxygen? This isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or the afterlife. It's not. You're in paths, bro. This is paths. <laughs> the explanation for everything in Attack on Titan. <laughs> mm, there you go. Lighten up the tree. I should be inside a Titan's mouth right now. How do I know what's happening? Is it because all the Eldians are connected through paths? There is something you can accomplish here. Time moves differently. Have as many conversations as you like, Armin. You're good. And this bit with Zeke. <laughs> Dude, this was, this was also such a wild moment in the manga that you're seeing the two of them together. Oh. Uh, and Zeke's just sitting there molding clay. He's like, there's nothing else he can do at this point. <laughs> All right, here you are, buddy. You're on screen. There you are. Konnichiwa, Zeke. Doshite. <laughs> Hello, Aaron's friend. So you were consumed by a mirror, too. And you could see just the hopelessness in his face at this point, too. Chapter 4. The Long Dream. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Long before anything existed besides inert matter. All matter of insignificant things came into and out of being. But eventually something survived. Deep at the bottom of the ocean. Hallucigenia, there we go. The thing we call life. Great choice of music here too. With the organ and the solo piano. The objective of living is to multiply. The sand, the pebbles, the water, none of them attempt to multiply. But life is still doing whatever it can to proliferate. Considering that death and extinction run counter to the goal of multiplying, we are deterred from meeting our end by the punishment we know as fear. This man's getting deep in his final moments, man. Emir mm. descending into the tree. There we are. This is the world where death doesn't exist. Good question, Armin. <laughs> we all wondered that as we were reading through this the first time. What could Amir possibly be doing? With all this power, she still couldn't defy King Fritz. What would make her stay here for 2,000 years while obeying King Fritz? There was something that she couldn't let go of. Also, interesting that that's the image they're choosing to show. Hmm. <laughs> See, Zeke, Zeke is just done at this point. He's given up. He's like, really, what do you want to do? Keep multiplying? Keep dying off? You could call what's happening right now the tragedy of life being ruled by fear. A calamity of fear brought about by the meaninglessness activities of, or the meaningless, excuse me, activities of life. Dude, I can't even talk right now. I'm like reading the dialogue out loud. Just absorbing everything and I'm saying everything incorrectly. I should just shut up. <laughs> it's 
true. Being alive officially means dying. The moment before death might just bring relief. Why don't you try it, Zeke? Maybe it would feel like being set free. Maybe. Maybe so. Look, there's a bloodthirsty Levi flying around out there. If you make yourself known, maybe he'll put you out of your misery. Who knows? Maybe it's the moment we all want to see. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. The way Armin's recollecting this kind of reminds me of like a visual novel. They're going frame by frame and then they have those like those blur shots. Maybe I was born to race Mikasa and Aaron up this hill. Leave <laughs> the look on Zeke's face, man. It's, the reaction shots are always so good in Attack on Titan. And how it's, oh, and he sees the baseball. That's, oh, it's so good. That he sees the baseball and he sees the leaf. Ah. Oh. To me, it's an incredibly precious thing. They all see the thing most precious to them. And that's where he was the happiest. Zeke was, by the way, such a good antagonist. I would say, like, obviously Aaron is the final antagonist, but I feel like Zeke, throughout most of Attack on Titan, obviously was, like, the major threat. And I feel like his plot, like, dude, in this too? Ah. Uh, his plot was just so good. And his character development was so good. And the twists with the story and who he actually was, his identity, everything. There you go. Reiner's down. Come on, Peek. Let's go. And she can't explode right now because John's holding on to her. All hope is looking lost. How are they getting out of this? And he is going off. Oh. And you got the Colossal clear in the way. What is this? Again, he's fighting. The souls are the ones that are important to the main cast, man. Porco and Marcel. Emir. Ah. Oh. Our Amir, not the founder of Amir. And Bertolt, too, they're all fighting. Sasageo! Don't miss that Okapi, come on! <laughs> there you go, there you go! Good work, Abby! Get him, Mikasa! Oh, give Armin back! Woo! There he is! Oh. Come on, Armin! Thunder spear right into him! There you go! And cutting off the tongue! Oh. Oh. And Annie being the one to catch him, too! Oh, man! Uh, it, it's just, it really is perfect, man. Like, watching all this again just reminds me of how much I loved this series. And how good this one. Bro, and Grease Shot, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, Titans are saving them. What's happening here? They're fighting paths, bro. 
And here comes Zeke. Here we go, dude. Here's the moment. Oi! It's time, bro. I'm over here. Give me that sweet relief. I'm the one you wanted to see, right, Levi? Come on, buddy. I didn't want to see you, though. <laughs> there you go. You get the heartbeat. Here we go, buddy. I'm sorry. What's going on here? It's all thanks to Zeke. <laughs> he awakened our comrades in the paths where there's no life or death inspired by the baseball. Uh, seeing Grisha and Porco in the... Uh, she's searching for something in us and Bertolt being around the shoulder of Armin. Take care of Annie for me, bro. <laughs> and Cassaver. I still believe my plan was right. Well. But if it meant I could play catch with you, I wouldn't mind being born again. Such a sick line, man. So I'll thank you for that, at least. Father, and then there's Grisha. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> I took everything from you. Your life, your power, Annie, and even your treasured memories. That's why I already know that you just don't want to stand there. Oh, dude, great choice of music here too with the final moments. Was Zeke staring out into the sun? Oh man, the weather is lovely. If I felt this way sooner, well, after I killed so many people, I'd be asking for too much, wouldn't it? He's already closing his eyes. There you go. There you go. Goodbye to one of the greatest antagonists in anime history, bro. Levi finally getting his revenge. He's having that moment of peace looking out at the sunset. Levi goes, ah, oh, buddy. Boom. Goodbye. Bunk. <laughs> there you go. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean it. You can still live. You can live on as a puppet, bro. It's fine. There you go. There you go. This is you being reborn. We can play catch. It's fine. And just a single string instrument playing. As they cut back to the rest of humanity. Reiner, bro! Oh, of course, dude, of course. Oh, man. Da 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 Oh man. Off with his head, bro. And here comes the hallucinogenia again. Grabbing him back. That thing is gonna go for Aaron's head again. Stop it, Reiner! Let's go! With the arrows in his back too, like that, man. <laughs> oh, the music is hitting perfectly. Every every music choice they've done so far has been flawless. Literally every single one has been good. And the thank you back to the old Amir. Without you, we wouldn't have stopped the rumbling. There's Cassavers Titan with the oh man, the sheep beast Titan, and Armin standing in the middle of that shot right there, bro. Of Armin in the middle of all of them. And he knows. Goodbye, Aaron. Going colossal while all of the corpses of the old versions are standing there. It's just too good. It's too good. Disciple Armin, man. Meanwhile, his story has given birth. It's like, did you forget about that plot line? We got to show this. <laughs> oh.
so good. Falco's landed. They know it's not that easy. Ackerman with awakened powers apparently gets sudden headaches. Was that really the last time we spoke? This moment, too. I guess they do have the reunion first. I forgot about this. Dude, and Falco coming out of the back of it. Peak reuniting. They get to be with their families. What we did was right, wasn't it? We did stop the rumbling. And Anna getting to see her dad again. Go see him, dear. She looks horrifying still, though. She's got, like, the sunken in face with the little... Here we go. There's the hallucinogenia. I'm just thinking back to what a great shot that was of Armin standing there in the hands of all the previous Titans. Again, it was so good in the manga, and I think they did it justice in the anime, too. I also, I love seeing the open ribcage as well on Armin's version of the Colossal. <laughs> well, what do we do? There's only one person who can do this. One person. And here he comes. If the glowing thing and Aaron come into contact, the rumbling will start again. We gotta kill it. But how are we gonna kill something that survived a blast like that? The one we should target is Aaron. This nightmare won't end until we take him down. Dude, man! And then Falco and Peek are like, look, we're happy to see you guys, but we gotta do something still. If you hadn't emptied your gun into the air, we would have still been fighting each other. But I've made more than enough mistakes, so let's work together now and overcome this. Hope for humanity. Uh, Annie. And then Annie, too, you gotta remember, too, all these years passed where she was in the crystal, too. Ah. Uh. This doesn't smell like when Titans die. What if this is like the stuff that was used on Regako? Oh. Get on Falco. We're getting out of here. Ackerman and Titan wielders are immune, remember? You know what we got to do. Yep. You got to do it. You got to do it now. And leaving Connie. I remember reading this and almost sobbing, seeing them leave Connie and John behind like that, knowing they're about to turn into Titans, bro. And Annie and her father just reuniting again. And the two of them standing side by side, man. So this is how we go out. Guess so. We'll entrust the rest to our comrades. That's how Scout Regiment soldiers meet their end anyway. I 
I know what happens, and I'm still almost getting kind of teary-eyed. And there we go. You ever wanted to know what Connie and John's Titan were going to look like? Here you go. How can something like this be happening? And Annie obviously is immune because she's a shifter already. On Capone, bro. There we go. There's Annie's dad. Secretary's like, bro, I was just looking at you. But they're like, we're not looking at you. We're going back towards Aaron. <laughs> oh, man. Here's the hallucinogenia. To Reiner Sill, hold them back with the army standing there, man. I love the extra added effect too of the blast coming off of it. We'll do things your way. I'll see this through to the very end. Let's go. No, <laughs> dude. Armin v. Aaron. Colossal versus Founder. Reiner holding back the hallucinogenia with the army consisting of uh, Connie and John and Gabby, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Reiner's mom, even. That shot, too, where they show her head twitching like that. Oh, my God. Pink, come on, Pink. Pink and Annie holding it down. All the Marleyans on one side. Pull it back. Dude, the animation off of that thing is incredible. When is our torment going to end? Dude. Come on, Mikasa. You and Levi are the only ones that can kill Aaron now. Come on. You want to go back? I want to go back to our home. The little cabin. Man, oh man, oh man, dude. <sighs> Catching all the fish. Feels like I just had a really long dream. Anyway, this is where Attack on Titan ends. The whole thing was a dream. The end. <laughs> Could you imagine if that was actually the ending? See, that's an ending I would have been upset about. Again, the connections, dude, with her crying and then, like, the... Uh, and her saying, I don't know. Think back to, like, the first episode with Aaron under the tree and then this moment. I feel like I shouldn't be here. That day we cast everything aside to run away to this place. Two months after the end of Marley's War... An invasion to Paradise Island was on the horizon. And if we hadn't run, they would have killed us all. I'm sure Armin's been desperate to find us. I couldn't plunge Historia into hell and commit an endless cycle of killing. And I couldn't bring genocide upon all humanity outside the island. So let's go. Let's live out my remaining four years in peace and quiet. Just the two of us. Man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. And like knowing what this scene actually is, bro, just like. <sighs> I know we promised we wouldn't talk about that stuff, but can we make another promise? When I'm dead. Throw the scarf away. You're going to live a long time after this. So forget all about me. Now that's all well and good, but... <laughs> you guys who are manga readers, you know the line that I'm waiting for that's coming up. 
So we'll see if they keep it. <laughs> Dude, I love... Oh, man, grabbing him by the hair like that, too. Bro. And there's the scarf. There you go. Do what you gotta do. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I can't. There he is. Help me get to the mouth. Roger that, Mikasa. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that was a cool shot there with the boulders. And Levi just chopping through them like nothing. Avoiding it like the Millennium Falcon in the asteroid field and Empire Strikes Back. Slam on down. Oh, the sound effects too are peak. Oh, that flash impact with the rainbow. Oh, great. Oh, there you go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Here we go. Here we go. And the scarring too with the teeth. See you later, Aaron. Bro. This was wild. Seeing this, bro. Oh my god, man. Seeing this animated. Oh. And Amir watching. Dude, 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 dude. Final chapter, bro. Oh man. Toward the tree on the hill. Here we go. Everything's connecting, paths, the final moment, what he saw back that day, the thing he witnessed that made him cry, everything. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, it's so good. This is it. We're actually at the end now. <laughs> Don't apologize to me. Apologize to Mikasa. She's the one you hurt with all your nonsense. And I love, too, that you have to remember in that moment in time in which Mikasa kills Eren, all these conversations have happened. This one with Armin, all the other ones with everybody else, him saying his goodbyes to everybody, it's like... And there we go. This will make you the most respected individuals in the world. Like I said, even from the beginning, I know people said it over and over again and they yelled at me, but like I said back during my initial manga read through, even Aaron was never team Aaron, ever. He never was. He knew that he, could, he had to go so far. He had to get them to hate him. He had to be killed. It had to happen. Oh, cool transition going to the lava. Okay. And then getting to see the world. It's like seeing lava for the first time. He's like, I may never get to do this in real life with you, but at least I get to show you all this. Uh. So why did Amir side with you? Here we go. He burned down her home, killed her parents, and even ripped out her tongue. And yet, even after attaining that godlike power, she remained subservient to him. What made her do that? There's something I felt when I touched her in paths. 
and I couldn't believe it. The founder, Amir, loved King Fritz, despite everything. And that's what kept Amir bound, even after 2,000 years. And I think the thing that I really actually didn't mind about this, that a lot of people hated about this revelation, was the fact that who was the one that watched Mikasa literally kill the love of her life in front of her? Amir. And we all know how Paz works. So it was like Amir was experiencing that at the same time that Aaron was experiencing all this. And the reason they were able to actually connect was because the two of them have experienced the love trumping everything else. And she was like, someone understands. Even though hers obviously was terrible. Hers was like Stockholm Syndrome love. It was still, they could connect on that basic front. I still don't know what Mikasa did, but what I knew for certain is the outcome Mikasa brought about is what I kept moving forward to reach. I slaughtered humanity, caused Eldians to kill each other on paradise, and dragged my friends into combat without ever knowing whether or not you'd survive. That's the future you saw at the medal ceremony. My head's become a mess. Of course it has, bro. They exterminated like half of the world. Exactly. There's no past or future. It all exists simultaneously. Exactly. Going back to what I just said about Amir. I had no choice. That day, in that moment, Bertolt had to stay alive. And this wild revelation that he sent. Bro, this was so crazy, bro. That was so crazy. The revelation that he sent Dina after his mom and set all this in motion is still so wild that he put in place his own future. Oh. He had to kill his own mom, man. Oh. And this too, I love this. I'm going to be like, shut your mouth. Tell the truth about Mikasa. Come on. <laughs> I also love that they're in this like Kingdom Hearts sea world while all this is happening. Here we go. Here we go. What are you going to say, Aaron? Here's the line I was waiting for. What are you going to say? I agree. Mikasa should forget about you. She might find a good guy sooner. <laughs> and hit it off with it. Here we go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> after I die, I want her to pine after me for at least 10 years. Bro. <laughs> that line, bro. So they kept it then. Okay. I didn't say... <laughs> I didn't think you'd say anything that pathetic, bro. <laughs> he said 10 years at least. Don't tell me, Casa. I want her to find happiness, but she's got to she's gotta think about me for at least a while. <laughs> they really kept it. And of course you don't want to die. See, to me, though, I also never really hated him kind of breaking down here. Because you got to remember, Paths works differently. Again, like he said, he's experiencing all this at the exact same time. So part of him is also still kind of a kid that still loves Mikasa and wants to be with her. 80%, bro, look at this. I trample 80% of humanity. 80, 8, 0. In the future, I attempt a complete eradication of humanity outside the walls, and all of you end up stopping me. But ultimately, 80% dies. The world outside the walls drops to the same level of civilization as paradise, and there won't be a one-sided war of reprisal. But the conflict won't end.
And he's like, I can't do anything. 20% of humanity is all you managed to save. It's been determined. And him just sitting as the water turns to blood. Things have always occurred exactly as I saw in my memories of the future. It's as you said, Armin. I'm a slave to freedom. But you guys can be free. Oh, the music hitting here. The only lesson they'll be left with is that they must kill or be killed. Are you saying you did all this for us? That's what I'm saying, man. Even Aaron was never Team Aaron. That's what I said. And he's like, I didn't. I wanted to level everything. I wanted to see this site. But why? And it's because of his hatred against the Titans, obviously. There was nothing he could do. He obviously... I still don't believe, though, when he says he didn't want to help his friends. Like, yes, he did, obviously. He wanted to see the site of leveling humanity. Because that was deep inside his soul. But at the same time, he wanted to help his friends. And that's like, that's all there is to it. But his head is just messed up. Oh, that shot too, right there. I'm a garden variety idiot who got his hands on power. Which is why this resolution was the only possible outcome. And that's all there is to it. I do feel like they added dialogue to this. Like in a good way. I I remember being a little more jarred by what they ended up saying in the manga. I don't know exact I have to go back and like look at the chapter to see exactly what they changed. I do feel like they changed some of the dialogue though. Either they added stuff or they toned it down a little. Dude and then the shell. Ugh. Like I think Aaron's little simpin moment moment there was better in the anime than it was in the manga. Because what, didn't he say something in the manga where he was like, I don't remember the exact line about Mikasa, but there was something beyond what he just said. Man, oh man. After this, we'll be in hell, I'm assuming, <laughs> if it exists. We're going to suffer for the sin of killing 80% of humanity. But we'll be there together. <laughs> like, if I'm going to hell, you're going to hell with me, buddy. And we'll be together in hell forever. It's time, Armin. I'm erasing your memory of our time here. But when everything is over, you'll remember again. And everyone will remember their conversations with Aaron. He took his time with everyone in the paths before it happened. He had to explain himself, erases the memories. And I'll be waiting for you. Damn. And there we go. Oh, great transition too.
and the bird oh man oh <laughs> with that moment and the transition and oh dude because <sighs> that was the moment that he had the conversation was when he was on the boat with annie and now he's remembering but he's seeing the bird flying overhead and it's falco but it's just too good it's too good bro i love that they showed it like that too that he remembers where he was when time stopped and he had that conversation prior to them all doing this and there she is and there he is it's done damn that guttural oh man Oh man, and the music track they're playing. Oh. And then I'll remember their conversations, bro. <laughs> and Peaks like, I wish you would have talked to me. Oh, and they're back. And Levi fulfilled his revenge. And seeing, oh, dude, this moment almost killed me in the manga, too, because I was like, bro, is he dying? When he looked out and he saw Hanji and Petra and Erwin and everybody, I'm like, is he going to die here? He fulfilled his revenge. I'm like, is this it? Is this the end? And the, oh, dude. Ah. Uh. Live on, bro. Ah, uh, Levi. I'd seen Levi cry like that, man. And, oh, uh, dude. And Connie and John seeing Gabby and coming back. Making it back from the Titanification thing. They're back to normal. I still thought it was weird they all had their clothes on still from before they became Titans. But still, I'm apparently not the armored titan anymore. That's fine, bro. <laughs> She's like, really? Good. Yokata. Demo Yokata. That's it. <laughs> I'm glad. You were all I ever needed. And he gets to be with his mom now. Ugh. Great choice of music here as well. I'm. It hit at the perfect time. That literally got tears out of me, and I know what happens. Put him to rest at a nice, quiet, nice, quiet place, under the tree. Meet me under the tree. Bringing it back full circles. The place where Aaron was always taking naps. Where it all started, where he had that moment where she said, why are you crying? He's like, I don't know, and he saw everything. Ah. Uh. Aaron Yeager is dead, and the power of the Titans is gone. We're all just regular people now. Can you prove it to me right here, right now? Here he comes. Armin's about to do it. End it. He said, right here, right now. I don't got time for a blood test. Prove it right now. Whether you're a human or whether you're a titan. Here he comes.
That's right. I'm Armin, an Eldian from Paradise Island. I'm the one who killed Aaron Yeager. <laughs> and see to the rest of the Oh, they are showing this! Oh, they're showing this! Because this was added! This was added in the volume! Okay, they are animating this! I exist because of the lives you created. Oh, I'm glad they're showing this, okay. The children and the king. Rest in peace, Amir. Ah. Uh. I mean, at least he looks at peace. Oh. Oh, I love that transition. That transition was so good. Into the stuff with the story is baby on her third birthday. And the footprints still that have created lakes. Those who managed to survive surely still suffer from unhealed wounds. And just as the world still reeling from the loss feared, Eldia formed a military led by the Agaris, which gained strength each and every passing day. Out of fear of reprisal from the survivors of humanity across the sea, the island shouts with one voice, if we win, we live, and if we lose, we die. And there she, <laughs> she is still, Tatakai, Tatakai, but you can see, Oh, dude, and Niccolo B with Sasha's family, bro. Conflict's not going to go away. Aaron pressed on and passed on everything you knew about the future, though I can't see the future that lies beyond this one. And Historian now is essentially like the head of this fascist government. I'm certain this outcome was not the result of Aaron's choices alone. The world is an outcome wrought by all of our choices. And there's Azuma Bito right there. We need to fight so that we fight no more. And even if we should find ourselves living lives divorced from peace, this isn't the life he wished for us. But it's the life that he passed on to us, even if it wasn't the one he wished for. How will we live and reprieve what remains in this world without titans? And there they are. All of them together three years later. Off for peace talks. <laughs> Any story. <laughs> She's a married woman. She married that random farmer, bro. It's over for you, Ryder. It's over. <laughs> Chubb's trying to look good for the history books. Exactly. The ladies will be reading about us in the history books. <laughs> It's a real shame your life got longer, Reiner. <laughs> oh, grown up Annie. Right by the side of her, man, Armin. We destroyed the walls and betrayed the island and even killed Aaron, who the Eldians revere. Can we really be the Allied Forces ambassadors for the peace talks? Of course, Connie's got his hair. I wouldn't be surprised if they sink our ship right about now. I'm honestly amazed we're still afloat. But this is the role of international heroes that that idiot forced on us. That's right. I want you to live long lives. Don't tell me you got on the ship expecting to go home alive, Annie. No, but it's not like any of us came to commit suicide, right? We want what's best. They'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Unless they change the ending. That'd be wild if they just arrive and they all die. <laughs> the squad is made up of dreamers who, just, who don't die. There you go. Ugh. For the time being, we won't be killed. Everyone in Paradise wants to know. Exactly. They want to know our story. There he is. There he is. Levi! <laughs> Living out his days with an awesome scar. 
handing out lollipops to the survivors. Onyaka Bones chilling. I was still so happy to see that Levi lived. When that moment, there's Yelena, bro. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. Handing out the baseballs to everybody. Uh, and Gabby and Falco planting a new tree. Watching over Levi in his wheelchair. And the birds flying high overhead. We'll tell them the story of what we've seen. Ah, oh, dude, seeing them together like that. And there's the bird flying high. Let's tell them all of it. Ah. Oh. He's watching. Move. Good choice of music here, too. And there she is under the tree. The others are coming to visit soon. Doesn't that make you happy? Oh, beautiful music choice here, too, man. Exactly. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's so good. Thinking back to the moment where she woke him up under the tree. Hey, why are you crying? I don't know, bro. And that's... Uh, and her having that realization. Oh, man. And life goes on, man. The little squirrels, the little chipmunks. He's there, holding the scarf. Ah, uh. oh, the swell with the music, man. Ah, uh. oh, and they had Tante Kai as part of the lyric. Thanks for wrapping the scarf around me, Aaron, bro. And they're gonna show, oh dude, and they're gonna show the extra panels of life afterwards or the credits, they're gonna do it. They're gonna show as time went on. Oh my God, yes, good. I was worried they weren't gonna do this. This is the perfect way to do it. They're showing, oh man. All the seasons of warfare, the years and years and years that pass. Mikasa visiting the grave again as an old woman. Passing away. The tree getting bigger. The car's going to visit. Oh, they're not gonna show. Oh, <laughs> are they gonna end it there? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Okay, okay. I was like, I was like, they have to show what happens after. Obviously, Mikasa gets buried with the scarf. That's they wanted to go full screen for that. They wanted to make sure. You know, Mikasa dies still loving Aaron. Here we go. So they are going to show everything. They're really subverting my expectations, too. And like my chat pointed out, you see the wedding ring. And you can see, here we go, industry building up. Paradise still becoming another island, but eventually being ravaged by war as time goes on. The skyscrapers. Dude, 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 dude. And showing the planes and the explosions as war is ravaging everything. The tree is still standing, but now it's got the artillery underneath it. Dude. And you can see the bullets still strewn around the grave and the grave's still sitting there. War goes on again. It's not what he wanted for them, but it's what has to happen. You can't let paradise go on with everything that happened. There's no way. Drop the nuke on him, there you go. So long, Paradise Island. Goodbye. And yet, and yet.
in the rubble of the skyscrapers thousands of years later. A boy and his dog, they stumble upon the tree. Oh, this music track is superb. Superb, bro. Woo! Oh, I like the little spirited away. Da 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 da. The end. Yo. I love, 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 love that they animated that. I love that they animated the extra chapters. I'm so happy with what they did with them. I think having, because again, you can't show. I just, I want to speak a little bit on this. I know it's been an hour and a half. I know there's a lot of you who are waiting. And I know you want me to upload this immediately. But I just, I have to say my piece. Because I don't know when else I'm going to get a chance to do it. I think it was so good that they added those extra panels for that extra volume. And that they chose to animate that for the finale. Because I think it really hammers home a lot of the themes of Attack on Titan. Like, I understand a lot of people find it controversial. A lot of people think it's promoting the stuff that Aaron was doing, but it's not. Again, it is a story about anti-war at the end of the day. It always has been. And there's there's bad actors who I think took it upon themselves to turn it into something else late in the game. That is not what Attack on Titan is. It has always been, always been, a story about wanting to find peace and being anti-war, but proving to you time and time again because humanity is stupid, that war is eternal. And it's going to continue happening time and time again, no matter what. Even though Aaron wanted the best for his friends, he still saw at the end of everything, 80% of humanity was going to get wiped out. He knew he was going to kill all these people. He knew it wasn't going to stop the cycle of hatred. He knew that Historia was going to have a kid, and they were going to make this whole fascist government, and they were still going to be crazy on their own little island, and they're still going to be bloodthirsty because of the Jaegerists and everything that was planted there. But as they show... Time and time and time again, paradise might have successfully succeeded as a society for hundreds, potentially thousands of years. You see the giant skyscrapers, but where did it bring them still? At the end of it all, it still brought them to war. It still brought them to death. Because at the end of the day, if the message of the Jaegerists and what they were trying to tell to the rest of humanity was fight on, attack, sasageo, whatever, at the end of the day, it will bring nothing but pain. It will bring nothing but pain and sorrow. Everything's got to be leveled. <laughs> All of it. All the rest of the world. Everyone in paradise. Everyone. Things have to be leveled and brought back to zero. So that when you finally see that kid exploring with his dog at the end. And they see the tree through everything. Walking through the rubble. Walking through the devastated version of paradise. That's been overgrown over years and years and years. And they see the tree. And you potentially have the, the little glimpse of, well, what happens? Do they go in the tree? Do they discover something? Will there be a sequel series? Who knows? He leaves it open-ended. But at the end of the day, again, he proves that war is eternal and all we could do is fight on. Not fight on in terms of killing people. Fight on in terms of becoming one as humanity. Coming together and stopping this nonsense. Stopping this. Because it's going to bring about nothing but pain. The idea of revenge, the idea of war, all of this, it's nonsense. It's bullshit. It's not going to bring you anything good. It's not going to bring you anything good. You have to find peace. You have to find the common ground. You have to find the love. Because that's what conquers all. At the end of the day, right, as much as I still kind of did not like the Stockholm Syndrome thing with Amir, again, Aaron and Amir, the thing they connected on was that love. That was still kind of what brought an end to everything. And it bought them some time still. But, oh, man. I, I really, I think it's great. I do, I think it's great. And I think the anime honestly fixed a lot of the stuff that potentially people had issues with the manga. Because, again, I do remember Aaron's speech being slightly more simpy when he's talking to Armin. I think the animation was superb. I think the music choices in this were so, 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 so good. So good. Having, having those remixes of the season one songs, but done like in a piano theming. Oh, it's so good, man. I just, I love this series so much. I've loved this series from the very beginning. I loved it from the first episode that I ever watched back on Toonami and like whatever that was, 2012, 2013. I loved it so much that I then read the manga. I binged it. 
I read it every single month. I, I would call up Ricky, who's in the chat today. I would call up Ricky after every single chapter. We would talk about it, be like, where is the story going? Speculating on what's going to happen in the future. Eventually getting to the rumbling that we had heard teased for so long. Seeing what was in the basement, discovering that it was the other side of the world where technology still existed. The stuff with Marley living through that time skip. Going over to Marley's side of things, wondering what the hell is going on, why are we following these characters, seeing how all of that progressed, coming to end up loving Gabby and Falco by the ending. It's just so good. It's so good. The month-to-month -month experience of Attack on Titan was unrivaled still. And I think it's also one of those few series that really, despite the weird timing of the anime episodes, despite all the stuff that happened where like we got the final season and the final season part two and the final season part three and the final season part four that aspect was stupid but i think it allowed them to at least take their time with the anime where we got what we got because there were very few flaws i felt in that final episode in this final special i think there were a couple of moments that didn't need to be as visual novelly there were a couple of moments they kind of cheaped out with like still shots but on the whole, man, I think the orchestration, the music, the, the dialogue, the pacing of things, the transitions, like I said, that shot of her holding Aaron going into Historia's baby, uh, so good. So good. Again, this I, I cannot imagine a world in which Attack on Titan is not one of my favorite anime of all time. It's just not. I, I it, it will forever be one of my favorites. It's forever going to be one of my favorite manga. It's forever going to be one of my favorite anime. It's just, to me, near perfect. It's as close to perfect as you can get for an anime or a manga series, personally. It's a masterpiece. And I, I again, it's not to say it's without its faults. There's definitely things that could have been better, but on the whole, when you combine everything, when you think back to truly, like, I think there's definitely creators out there. There's definitely mangaka out there there's definitely animation studios out there that put together these stories and try to bring everything together with foreshadowing based on little things here and there that were set up in the earlier episodes or in the earlier chapters. But like, it is so clear when you finish Attack on Titan that he planned this from day one. He knew from day one, from chapter one, to you a thousand years from now, getting to where we are at the end of the kid discovering the tree. To you, 1,000 years from now, he knew this was going to be the ending. He knew eventually Aaron had to die. He knew eventually Mikasa had to be the one to kill him. He maybe didn't know how they were going to get there with the rumbling and everything, but he knew that was the end goal. That war is cyclical. That that was the end game. It needed to end with Aaron dying. That revelation of Aaron sending the smiling titan, sending Dina off to kill his mother, to set up the hatred inside himself to make everything actually happen. It's just wild, man. And then it makes you look back at that first season and how Aaron was feeling and the emotions that he had upon, like, learning how to do the 3D maneuver gear for the first time, all those stupid moments with Aaron, like it makes you look at all of them with a new light. Because again, it's like what he knows at the time and what he's discovering via paths from the moment that he touches Dina, like, oh, it's so good. It's just so good. It's so good. And again, it's, as, it's also as happy of an ending as you could possibly get for the characters that still exist, right? Levi goes on to live on. Right? Being taken care of by Gabby and Falco and Yon Capone, chilling in Marley, handing out lollipops to the survivors. You've got Mikasa still chilling in paradise, staying with uh staying with Aaron, even though she eventually remarries, maybe ten years later or whatever, she still dies with the scarf wrapped around her. She never fell out of love with Aaron. Even if she did fall in love with some other guy. It doesn't matter. You see her wedding ring, it doesn't matter. She was still there at the end of the day. Armin and Annie still go on to live a happy life. Peak. Reiner. Reiner gets to live. Reiner being not, I guess, not the sole one. I guess Annie is the other one that remembers from that original trio. But, like, I think it's different because Annie's got Armin. Reiner literally had his mom. And then he has kind of nobody else. He has suffered so much throughout the course of this series. And time and time again, when I read every single chapter, I was like, bro, this is the one Reiner's going to die. This is the one Reiner's going to die. And still... As the Armored Titan manages to live through all of it, manages to literally live up to his name, no matter what, nothing is breaking him down. 
time and time and time again. This man had a billion lives. Went, had every reason to die, had every reason to give up, and still made it out at the ending to sniff Historia's letter. It's just, it's crazy, man. Oh, it's so good. I could talk about it all day, like I said, but Attack on Titan will forever be one of my favorite anime and manga of all time. Again, I think they did a great job with the ending in the anime. I think they did actually manage to improve it a little bit, but please let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the ending of Attack on Titan. I highly recommend you go back after this video and go watch my reaction to the final manga chapter. I will link that somewhere in this video, either as a card or in the description or something. Go back, because then that'll show you my initial reaction when I read this for the first time, you'll get to experience all of that and then compare it to what we got here in the anime. It's, again, it's peak. It's, it's one of the best series of all time. And I just, I, I will love it forever. Attack on Titan, Sasageo, devote your hearts, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>